Well, guys, I've got it all put back together. Well, I mean, except for the uh, bumpers and the tail lights, but the engine's in. It's running. So now, oh, the lighting is terrible in here. Yeah, I just gotta clean this thing up. Put the bumpers on it, tail lights, and then uh, we're good to go. It's pretty dusty since I painted the engine bay. But I opened this door hoping that it would give me some extra lighting. I was kind of just messing it up, but there it is, guys. So let me start it up for you guys so you can see how it sounds. No more rod knock, which is good. She runs. So let me tell you about my day today. So, um, first of all, let me shut these doors because the lighting isn't helping. Okay. So, in my last video, you saw I had it bolted in and I had a couple things put on it. Uh, today I finished putting everything else in uh, the axles That axle was a pain in the butt and what I found out was that my uh, It's got this um, What's it called like a little pin Cotter not a cotter pin uh, dowel dowel pin thing um, I have a dowel in there dowel pin and um, It was bent it got bent because I kind of hammered the ha hammered it out and um, bent the pin. So I took that pin out and then the it went it went it went, it went blah. can't talk today. It went right in. Uh, another thing that was a challenge is I um, got everything needed to run hooked up. And I went to start it, and it cranked, but then I had a big puddle of gasoline under the car. So what happened is, whenever I put the motor in, the uh, fuel line got jammed in between the engine and the firewall, I'm guessing, and busted the fuel line. So the fuel line was this stupid uh, quick disconnect thing, and quick disconnect is the worst word for that thing, because it took me forever to get it off. So I went to Harbor Freight and I bought like this kit of different um, different disconnect tools. None of them worked. I found out the part number of the one that I needed. I went to O'Reilly's looking for it. They didn't have it. So I ended up just like um, using a screwdriver and prying it off of there. And I just replaced it with a regular fuel hose with some clamps. And uh, once I got that done, it fired right up. Uh, then I was able to fix my exhaust. So my exhaust manifold, it had, I showed you already, it had a broken stud and um, the other stud broke as well when I was working on it. So now I, I put one stud in it, but the other two I had to just put uh, nuts and bolts, a through bolt. So, um, but it's on there good, so now I don't have any exhaust leak, which is great. So, that's pretty much it. So, one thing that I could not figure out was all these hoses. So, like the uh, vacuum hoses, I'm going to tell you right now, they are not correct. So, this hose right here, that goes to the EVAP, it's supposed to hook up to this hard line. And I know that it's supposed to go there, but... 
I have this other hose that comes from my intake manifold that I cannot find a place for anywhere. So I hooked it to there and the EVAP is not hooked up. So I'll have to revisit that another time. I spent forever trying to figure it out, looking up a bunch of diagrams online, a bunch of forums, nothing helped. And I was just like, whatever, I'll figure it out later. I need to get this thing running. So um, it's not 100%. I got to figure out those hoses. So there's just a million hoses. It's a rat nest of hoses. So I'm going to try to figure out like what I can eliminate. But that's how it is for now. Hopefully it doesn't cause any issues. Um, but yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Uh, I'm going to go take it for a spin around the block. And then I'm going to put the bumpers on. Um, today's Friday, so tomorrow night people are going to be cruising. Uh, Saturday night cruises for the summertime. So I'm going to see if I can take that out there. So I do want to go take it for a nice test drive. Clean it up, put the bumpers on it, put the tail lights on it. And, uh, yeah, this thing will be back on the road. All right. That's it. Thanks, guys.